All right, everybody. Uh, some people have been asking for some help figuring out how to fill out this uh, game sheet. So what I have over here is the map. This is the map for uh, period one. And I have here the turn form down here. So I thought I'd go step by step and show you how it's done. So um, first thing it asks is what's your group name. And so that is what group you were assigned. So if you're the French, you would type French. If you're the Iroquois, you'd type Iroquois. I'm just going to pretend I'm going to type one that's not real. Down here it asks you to select your period number. So it's either 1, 3, and this is going to become 6, so I'm just going to hit 1. How much gold is in your current treasury? So this is how much you start with at the beginning of your turn. If you're trying to find out what this is, um, the place that you would search for it from this point on, I told you today that it was 15. From this point on, you would go to your actual map page here, so period 1 in this case. And then right up here it says click to access account sheet. And if I click on that, it's going to take me to this spreadsheet. And what it's going to say is, so I would look for my group here. And down here at the bottom, this is be how much money I start with. And so um, it'll this will be here. So whatever it is here, when you come into class in the morning, you check here first. It'll tell you how much money you have. And then it'll also tell you what you have of each one of these after the turn from yesterday. Now I told you that uh, you all started with 15. So I'm going to put 15 here. That's the gold that I told you you started with today. Okay, uh, it says here new armies. They cost three gold apiece. How many do you want? Uh, will you uh, train in total? So I'm going to, so that basically for each army you choose, remember armies are going to be starting, they're, they start directly on top of your um, they start on top of your uh, home base. So in this case, I'm going to pretend that I'm the I'm going to pretend that I'm uh, the English, which is right here. So how many armies do I want? I'm going to start with two. So that would be two times three. So that's six gold coins, and that's important to remember for the very end. Okay. So once I've deployed them, so I bought two. So then what that basically means is. Um, like I would if I was actually reading your turn sheet. So what this does is this tells me that you have two armies and they're going to be dropped on your capital. So I'm going to create a new dot that I'm then going to color green. I'm going to take this dot and I'm going to move it over here. This dot is also going to have on it the number two because you bought two armies. And I want to make this black. So this is basically what I would be going through if you were actually uh, doing it. I'm going to change this to make it a little bit easier to see. There we go. So here are the two armies that you just bought at this point. Now, you want to move them, right? So I want to move them, and I've decided, you know, you can split them up. I'm going to keep them together for this example, and I'm going to move them to Virginia. So the way I would t you would tell me you want to move them from Virginia would be move to from Jamestown to Virginia. And so what that basically says is that I'm moving two armies, and I'm moving them from Jamestown to Virginia like that. And that's what that tells me. If you wanted to split them up, you would type move one from Jamestown to Virginia and then move the other one wherever else you want to put it. Okay. This one right here asks, this next question says, what will you be using any cards? Now, cards are something that um, you would buy from the trader. Now, you can only use those once you've bought them, though. So what that means is, and to show you really quick what that means, if you go back to the game page, and I go down here to trading post, this is the traders page. And every once in a while, as soon as I click on it, that is, as soon as I, um, every once in a while, these are the things you can purchase. So what you want to do is you want to read these, look at the price here, and then after you buy them, you kind of hold on to them until you use them. And so you would use them here, and you have to follow the directions on the card in order for them to be used. I'm going to scroll down. So you may not do anything with this this first turn. Um, would you like to make any trades? Now this is if you want to give something you have to another team. This would be how you would um, 
how you would sell to the trading post resources to turn them into money. This is also if you were going to pass a bribe or give something to another team. This is how you do it here. So you would basically tell me what you are selling or giving and to who. This box right here is if you're going to buy anything from the trading post. Remember I said that if you buy items, um, and if you were to buy items from the trading post when they were very cheap and then sell them back later, this is how you do this. So it would be like five corn from the trading post. Or um, if you're going to buy a card that we already talked about, like if you were going to buy the plague or something like that, this is how you would do that. And then finally, it says, how much gold do you have at the end of your treasury? Subtract all purchases and add all sales. So what this basically means is this. So right now I go back up to the top. I have 15. The only thing I bought this around is three is, is two armies for six gold, which means at the end I have nine. And then I hit the submit button. And as soon as I do that, it sends to this to me. And then I will go into this map and I will go ahead and catalog this the next day. And then when you go back to the map in the morning which would be right here, you will see all of the changes that were made posted on this map. And that is pretty much all you have to do. So that is all. If you have any other questions, let me know.